All right, now look, there are two main kinds of flanges uh, that you run into most of the time. One's a one-piece flange and the other's a two-piece flange, all right? There are a couple other variations that aren't as desirable. There's something called a uh, ball bearing banjo, which has a two-piece flange on it. Okay, so let's, let's look at what the differences are here. So we already showed you a one-piece flange, but let's look at that again, all right? So we can do a close-up here. Ultra close-up, there you go, okay? That's a one-piece flange banjo, okay? And here is a one-piece flange out of the banjo. You notice it's one piece. How about that? That's why they call it a one-piece flange. Now, we have a two-piece flange banjo, and I didn't, I didn't take this apart, so we're gonna have to describe this. Okay, so now, remember from our other video, this is actually a raised head, see that? Okay, now let's do a close-up here. And you have to really look carefully, but see how this is two pieces of uh, metal. We have a tube right here, and we have a flat plate, all right? This is called two-piece flange or tube and plate, and I'm gonna turn it over, and these are made out of brass. Now, the, and 1929 was kind of the pivotal year. Some of the 1929 banjos have a one-piece flange, some have a two-piece flange, all right? Now, to make it even more confusing, uh, well, not confusing, but let me talk about this for a second. The two-piece flange have a three-quarter inch rim right here. You can see that's three-quarter, okay? Now, the one-piece have a five-eighths inch rim. And I don't know if you can see the, see how this is, this one here is quite, uh, this is a lot thinner than this one, okay? Now, as long as we're at it, the master tones, and what a master tone means is that it has a tone ring in it. It can either be a flathead tone ring or it can be a raised head tone ring or arch top. So, if it's a master tone, it will have this seal, okay? Now, sometimes people fake these seals, so this doesn't mean, there are a lot of copies out there, so you just have to watch. And um, if it has that seal, and on the neck, it will say master tone. All right, so if it does that, that means it has a tone ring in it. All right, so that's the master tone. Now, if it, if it uh, is a non-master tone, let's say a one or a two, I'm gonna show you what that looks like, okay, right here, okay. You'll notice on this banjo, there is no master tone block. So if it's an original banjo, it won't have a block. Now, sometimes people will make a copy neck, as we said earlier, because they'll unbolt the tenor neck, bingo, all right, and then they'll just bolt the five string neck right on there. And if it's a copy neck made today, sometimes they'll put a master tone block in there, particularly if they're using, if they're putting a tone ring in it, all right? Now, the, the one last thing I'm gonna show you is how to tell if there's a tone ring in it, all right? So I have two identical banjos here. Look at them. They're both ones. Now the ones came from the factory without a tone ring. They have a hoop in them, all right? Now, the way you tell if a banjo has a tone ring simply, and I'll put this back here for a second, is if it has a tone ring, doing a close up, you'll see the edge of the tone ring right here, all right? Now I'm gonna give you the same exact banjo. This one does not have a tone ring. See how this one, you see the difference? See that band of metal on this one right here? This has a band of metal, okay? Now the other way you can tell if it doesn't have a tone ring, you can take the resonator off, okay? So I'm gonna take this resonator off. 
and uh, we'll take just a second here. And we're going to look in the banjo and you're going to see what a tone ring looks like inside the banjo. And you may have to take notes because this, this is not really organized as a teaching video. I'm just kind of hopping around here and hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so what happens is many times somebody will buy one of these TB ones which doesn't have a tone ring in it and they will add a new tone ring. This particular one has a Uber tone ring in it. You can see what that looks like, okay? Now, you'll, I talked about the non-master tones earlier in the master tones. See, this has a Gibson label, but it doesn't say master tone. So this banjo did not come standard from the factory with a tone ring in it, all right? So that's, that's what that looks like. Now, if we take the resonator off this one, and this, uh, this actually is kind of a cool banjo. Now, here's an example of a banjo that's all original, but worn a lot. So let's see what it, uh, see what it looks like here. Take that resonator off. Okay. And here we have, now you'll notice, see, and you can rewind this, same label, but there's no tone ring. This has a brass hoop, probably weighs two or three ounces, and a tone ring weighs three pounds, as we talked about. Okay, so that, uh, I'm going to show you one other thing, what the inside of a raised head tone ring looks like. And uh, we showed you what the outside looks like, but here's what a raised head. And once again, this is a master tone, you can see the label, but that's what a raised head looks like from the inside. Okay, so that will conclude this video.